Battalion of President Heading, maintain 3,500 till established on the localizer. Third DILS 32 for All right, the next question I got was um, leaning during a climb. How do I handle this? And so just to review, the rule of thumb is 5,000 feet. And that's just a rule of thumb because the hard rule is you only lean an aircraft engine when you're operating below 75% power. So it's a bit of a guess. Where is 75% power? Um, if you look over the performance tables, you'll find that for most cruise power settings, uh, above 3,000 feet, you're operating less than 75% power, which is why 3,000 feet has become sort of a rule of thumb for cruise power settings. But if you have that throttle firewalled, if you're flying a full power climb, 5,000 feet is the altitude you're looking for. Once you pass through 5,000 feet, you're looking for a best power lean. Don't worry about finessing it. If you're in a fixed pitch prop, just start leaning the engine until you see peak tachometer. Now, if you're in a constant speed prop, it's a little trickier because you can go ahead and lean that engine for best power and the RPM is not gonna change, right? So you can't be looking at the tachometer. Uh, what you really wanna look at are the cylinder head temperatures. Um, but this is a bit of a guess because if you pull the mixture out to where the CHTs peak, that's actually a best economy lean. That's not a best power lean. So you wanna be a little bit rich of that. You wanna stop short before the EGT peaks. So as you're climbing again, you're not gonna finesse this. We just wanna get in the ballpark. We just want to uh, get to a place where, you know, we're not fouling the, the, the spark plugs. Now, if you're in a turbo, you're just gonna lean to a fuel flow, which is easy and beautiful. Uh, but in, in a normally aspirated constant speed prop airplane, just lean until you see those CHTs rise and just stop short of the peak indication. Look up in the sky. Look up in the sky, and there you are Floating like an angel on the air.